hello guys so today's our topic is uh, how to manage rest api calls using elmo file in iphone application so uh, usually into the applications where backend server is involved uh, the applications like e-commerce applications or any healthcare applications or food related applications where we are uh, required to communicate the application with the server side either for the fetching some data or submitting some sort of data like a login or sub sign up request is uh, user based applications so uh, for this kind of concepts uh, we are using the rest apis for communicating the mobile application with the server side so uh, how we can manage it easily so for that uh, what we are using is there are so many options but we are using along fire for uh, calling the get or post APIs or either a fetch API calls. So today we will see a small example uh, to demonstrate how it will be exactly implemented. So let's take a look uh, look the demo first. So uh, here comes uh, first what we need to do is uh, we need to add the dependency for the Elmo fire. Uh, what is the uh, uh, whatever the stable version is available for the Elmo fire th that we can uh, install uh, by default if we can ignore this uh, uh, value here then it will <coughs> download the uh, latest version of the Elmo fire so we can uh, we can even ignore this one also it will automatically take the latest version available of the Elmo fire in earlier videos uh, we already checked how we can uh, install the cocoa ports dependencies so uh, let's not go there we already installed this okay so now how we can use it so what we have done is we have created the separate api, uh, API class where we will be uh, creating the common uh, what we can say api uh, functions which can be reused uh, into the any pages like uh, what we have done here is in api class we have created two separate functions uh, called normal api and upload api so what is the difference between normal api and upload apis this is the customized function i have created for the uh, different kind of apis so normal apis are the post or get apis in which we are passing uh, the string values only uh, as a request parameters and for the upload api we will be passing string as well as some of the media uh, media attachments also like photos or videos so uh, for that i have created a separate fun uh, function uh, although both will be using the elmo fire only but uh, for the upload api there is a separate pro process for converting the image format into the data and uh, submitting uh, uh, with the post request which we are submitting to the server uh, other than the process will be the same so uh, let's check out the normal api so normal api has uh, uh, passed out few parameters uh, that we can see first is parameter in which we are passing the request parameters either it can be a, a integer or string or boolean values uh, which we are passing to uh, uh, postman uh, api calls and then we need to just uh, just uh, give the api name which we are going to call this uh, for the uh, function and the third one is method either it can be a post api or a get api so that we have to mention and the last one is completion handler that is customized uh, thread we have created just to manage uh, whenever we are calling the, any apis uh, let's say we, we are calling the login api into the login page how they will able to know that the login api response is came and its uh, execution is done so for that we are handling through the completion handler so it will communicate with that uh, particular page and it will uh, allow uh, that page to identify that the process is being done and whatever error message or success message we are getting will be passing with the completion handler and the similar process we will be doing here also for the upload api Let's see how we will be using into the actual use. So here we have created one uh, calling function for uh, the login API. So what we are doing is API class normal API. Now we are using this 
uh, normal function right now for the calling login API. So for the login API, we are passing the parameters. Uh, here we, uh, we need to submit as a post request. So we have an email and password right now. And the API name we need to identify. So we are giving the name as a login API. This, uh, this API is particularly the post request API. So we are passing the format name post. Uh, into the completion handler, we'll be getting three things. First will be the success. It can be either true or false. So on basis of that, we will be identifying the submit. Uh, we have sub uh, the submitted the request is either succeeded or failed. So in case of failure, what we need to do is we need to uh, show the alert message with uh, relevant error message we received from the server side. So we we are receiving the uh, error message in this string error string so that we can directly show into the alert message and the third parameter is m detection so whatever uh, success values we are getting so we are storing in, it into the dictionary format so we can retrieve it and we can store it somewhere wherever it's required so in case of success we will be getting the dictionary response so that we can parse it and we can use any of the values uh, which we are going to use for that into the application now in similar way uh, we are also using the upload api calls so what will be the reference is if you can see along with the string parameters we can also pass the uh, photos and videos as well so here we are attaching something we already have an image view and from that image view we are getting the image that image we are going to upload along with the parameters so rest of the things are same uh, it's just uh, additional photo values which we are uploading so what it will do is it will go to here and it will identify the request parameters we are passing so it will separate the image values and string values so string values will be passed similar way we are passing here but for the image values it should be get converted into the data format uh, and after that it will be get passed uh, to the server uh, so that is only the difference between the upload apis and normal apis rest of the process will be same here so this is how we can utilize this Elmo fire uh, for the calling the rest apis into the application either it can be post uh, post patch uh, get or any kind of apis we can call through the Elmo fire and if someone is required uh, this uh, same sample demonstration uh, this is uh, developed into the latest swift version so if anyone required this demo then they can comment uh, under the video they can they can request for the demo uh, i'll be happy to provide this demo to the any person who is required this so that's all for this video guys thank you